Hello and welcome to the weekend edition of National Focus. I'm your presenter, Mervyn Matthew. Thank you for joining us. Coming up, National Petroleum and neighboring companies conducted an evacuation drill on Friday. The Dominica Science Trade and Investment Framework with the United States and the Prime Minister and the Minister for Finance, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, prepares for the 2013-2014 budget presentation. Details of these and other stories right after the break. The facts as they are brought to you every day, every day, every day, every day. only on GIS Channel 7. Welcome back. Time now for the details of the news. The government of Dominica is delivering on its promise to establish ICT facilities in rural communities for the development of the information and communication technology sector on the island. In an interview with GIS News on March 12, Honorable Kelva Daru, Parliamentary Secretary in the Prime Minister's Office, responsible for information technology, announced the government's intentions to embark on the project to implement telecenters in several rural communities. Earlier this week at the National ICT Fest press launch, the minister informed that government is indeed following up on that venture and the plan has been approved by cabinet. We have already approved for the implementation of one such center in the community of Biosh. But the government of Dominica will provide all of the equipment as well as pay the rent for the facility that will be used to house that ICT center in the community of Biosh. And we will also be exploring other communities such as Bells, Penville, and some of the other rural areas where there are no ICT centers available so that the persons in these various communities will be able to have access to the internet at their free will. As Honorable Daru had mentioned earlier this year, rural communities are being targeted because of the general lack of computer resource centers to facilitate student research. Back in March, the minister had expressed his optimism about the undertaking. Hopefully, if all goes well, we will see several other communities benefiting from this project and ensuring that ICT in the various communities across this island can be of a very high standard. At the ICT Fest press launch this week, Honorable Darrow stated that with support from the Aid Bank and Invest Dominica Authority, the government intends to take steps to promote the country as a knowledge-friendly area where persons can be successfully employed in the field of ICT. We all know the impact that Clare Harbour has on this country. And although sometimes it may be a challenge, but government is committed to ensuring that we can work with these companies and through Invest Dominica and through the Aid Bank we can put the necessary infrastructure in place so that whenever we get these companies to come to Dominica, we'll already have infrastructure that will be able to facilitate their, 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 um, their survival there in this country. So, so the government of Dominica remains committed to the sector, towards developing the sector, sector sorry, and towards finding new opportunities, especially for development of information technology on this island. The ICT Fest planned for July 2nd to the 4th will be held under the theme Empowering Citizens, Embracing the Future. In more news, Dominica's Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, is currently finalizing plans for his presentation of the 2013-2014 financial budget. The Dominica leader told GIS News that preparing the annual budget has become increasingly challenging over the years, especially amidst the global economic crisis. It's always a difficult period, I mean, you know, for, for any country, especially at this time, um, to put a budget together. Uh, because you have the same and you have new challenges and any challenge you have in the society will require money and um, uh, and how do you apportion this money over over the, the number of needs in, in the country so I mean we must we must liken the preparation of the budget to our own uh, budgeting at our homes um, we have a fixed salary and in in the case of your home you you're sure to get your salary <laughs> in, the, in the case of this government 
we don't have money sitting in the bank, contrary to what people think. You know, um, all of its revenue streams are projected. Okay, so as we go along, we raise the money. But you have fixed costs. You must pay public servants their salaries. You must provide medicines at the at the hospital. You must um, provide uh, the police if the required resources they need. You, you must maintain the roads. You must ensure that you have um, the supplies at the schools. You, you see, um, you, you're part of regional and international organizations. You must be able to pay some of your bills to them and so forth. And these are all fixed costs. So they, they have, you, have, you, you have things that you must pay, but you project revenue that you don't necessarily um, um, will, um, we will get. So it's, it's a challenge, but um, I, I think we will, um, we will certainly get, 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 get some way. And um, in very short time, I will, I will inform the country of the actual date uh, for the budget present presentation. National Petroleum and neighboring companies in collaboration with the Office of Disaster Management, Fire and Ambulance Services and the Police Department conducted an evacuation drill on Friday. The purpose of the drill was to evaluate the business's individual and collective response to a disaster in the area and to observe safety protocols. Retired police officer Nicholas George explained to reporters on Friday the importance of conducting the exercise in the Kinfield area. NP probably has the largest bulk of fuel in the tank farm. There are about 11 businesses in that vicinity. The storage capacity there is in excess of probably 300,000 gallons of fuel, inclusive of jet fuel. So if and they, it also, it is fronted or bounded by the EO Libla Highway, the main artery into the city of Roseau from the north. So we can well imagine that if an incident were to occur and a major fire were to occur, how much, uh, what an impact it would have on the, on the state. And therefore, the state most partner with these people that are here to come up with the appropriate plans to deal. So we can no longer just plan to plan, but we must put the plan into action. A Friday's exercise formed part of NP's Hazard Awareness and Safety Week program. Heskif Brumant is Dominica's terminal manager at National Petroleum. He spoke with GIS News following the morning exercise. The last time we had the exercise in 2008, the, re the response time for the fire department was 10 minutes. This time around, it took seven minutes. So there's an improvement of seven minutes for the response time for the fire department. What did you think um, contributed to that? One, according to information I received, well, is the road improvement one and the cooperation of the motorists that, are, that cooperated in clearing the roads and allowed them to, to go through. And I'm sure before you had to prepare, of course, for this activity, um, what, what sort of preparations um, went on? Yeah, the planning started about a month ago with the ODM coordinating it and leading it. There was a planning session with all the parties involved and in that light I would like to thank all the, the neighboring companies who participated. So there was a planning minute meeting two weeks ago and we had constant debriefing with my staff, all the players and the ODM. Patrick Snalbert is assistant superintendent of police assigned to the traffic department. So we got the first call at 9.37 at and within 10 minutes I think the task was on the ground. The couple just took charge of the situation and then had the people cordoned. They had the area cordoned and secured the area. But in the ideal, I think we'll, any situation at this area, the people should be evacuated at least a mile away from this area. Okay, but here, it's quite a volatile area. With all these tanks, maybe 30 to a lot. A lot of petrol. We got the rubies, we got NP, you have Western Oil, Harris Paint. And I think the traffic should be way, way back. So why we try our best to maybe evacuate the people as far back as possible, but it, in the ideal, maybe at Wavincock and maybe back to the Old Mills area. In more news, the government of Dominica has signed a trade and investment framework with the United States government. Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Carey told GIS News Wednesday that government intends to engage the U.S. in negotiations for a trade agreement. We now negotiate and come to a close for negotiations with Canada. So once that is completed, then we move to the United States to negotiate them. So what we have done is, is, a, is a sign of framework, really, um, as a precursor uh, to the commencement 
of negotiations. Um, you know, we always maintain that uh, but whoever is advising the United States on its policy to the Caribbean is badly advising the United States. Um, that really that there should be more engagement, there should be greater um, tangible attention placed, not only in words, but in tangible and meaningful interventions and, 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 and attention should be placed in the Caribbean by the United States. And just days after Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt carried a short Dominica of his government's fiscal prudence, a regional credit rating agency has assigned credit worthiness ratings for Dominica. The Caribbean Information and Credit Rating Service Limited, CARICRIS, is a Caribbean regional credit rating agency. According to a press release from the agency dated May 27, CARICRIS reaffirmed the ratings of foreign currency and local currency on its regional rating scale to the national debt issue of the size of 25 million U.S. dollars of the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica. These ratings indicate that the level of credit worthiness of this obligation a judge in relation to other obligations in the Caribbean is adequate. Caricris further indicated that the ratings of the government of Dominica continue to reflect Dominica's relatively moderate indebtedness and comfortable debt servicing ratios. Prudent fiscal policy, moderate financial sector indicators, healthy external sector performance, and consistency of economic policies in a stable political environment also support the ratings. The release further stated that these rating strengths are tempered by the small open economy with a narrow economic base which renders it highly vulnerable to external shocks and severe capacity constraints, particularly in its human resources. Caricris was established in Port of Spain, Trinidad in 2004. Having launched its services in October of that year, Caricris released its first credit rating in April 2005. And that's the English news. Marcus and St. Louis is next with the Creole highlights. Hello, good morning. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Non moins, c'est Marcus and St. Louis. Premièrement, chef gouvernement pays OECS joint en Tigre pour bon meeting autorité OECS. Premier ministre Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, ensemble et puis ambassadeur OECS, His Excellency Félix Grégoire, Représenté Dominique en meeting Salah. Nous nous joignons à l'article pour des jours. C'était un, un bon meeting, nous discutions en plusieurs bêtises, mais um, ce highlight là, c'est quand um, on stratégie développement pour payer, pour payer au ICS là. Agriculture, uh, uh, tourisme, um, les affaires, um, um, financial services, um, sécurité pays là, ICT, information communication technology. So nous regardons ce que qui challenge là, qui difficulté nous ni et puis ça nous ni pour faire pour pour mener mener plus développement euh en ces économies au ICS là pour adresser but et compte euh employment euh à terme c'est c'est euh citoyen au ICS là. So it's a bon discussion et puis aussi nous nous discuter quand des affaires euh étrangers. Euh qui mène nous ça placer corno Médicaux nous pour 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 la ces gros pays là qui continuer garder garder nous quand quand en groupe en série ok et puis quand mettre qu'à changer on est aussi pour changer aussi pour 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 mettre quoi à nos à nos situations là mon cas pour continuer pour et puis respect et puis et puis dignité en autre nouvelle, Dominique a tapé bon avis pour porter attention aux avis qui concernent la publicité qui a marché pour tabac. Parole Salah a sorti au chef du département de drogue Dominique, Jacinta Bannis, comme ministre de santé qui a édité le public là, danger tabac. Avant, nous avons fait un tabac en cigarette. Actuellement, il y a un en suite. Il y a un peu de médias. Il y a un peu de médias. Il y a un tout cas de manière pour servir le tabac. Là. Et bien nous savons que um, le tabac est quelque chose sous le point de la chose. Puis um, il y a une information qui dit combien de mille personnes sont mortes tout l'année pour um, fumer le tabac. En uh, Dominique, les gens qui nous pas de point, mais um, nous avons une information sur les gens qui fument le tabac. Et puis, on va en l'autre bagaille, nous les disons. 
si ou pas ka fume puis mon ka fume pas aller en haut mon ça puis même si ou pas ka fume et puis mon la ka fume ou ça tape ou ça tape malade aussi um, à, à ce que quand ça ou ka tape c'est ou que ok moi j'aime moi j'aime um, fumer cigarette tout ça mais mon mon ne can ça et puis quand ça ça ou tape ça puis ou te ka um, acide ou ou ça um, mêler puis mon qui ka point Chaque fois qu'on marche dans les chimie, puis on monte devant, on quand il voit um, pof, ça uh, 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 un environnement. Et puis ça me nous a dit, ça c'est un poison. Puis un cigarette, je dis ni combien mille, quatre mille poison en uh, uh, tabac. Soleil on monte en cigarette, c'est un low poison. Il n'est pas gai qu'on a cynique, pas gai ou qu'on a lavé um, tout et tout, un bagay qui a battu motoka, tout cas c'est poison. Ce monde qui Um, ta, a mis des encore. Dans la nouvelle, le gouvernement a mis en place pour tout les pour tous les citoyens connaître la manière pour servir ICT, si l'on stratégie de développement ICT. Parole Sala sorti hors uh, PS à l'Office pour le ministère et puis responsabilité pour ICT, Honorable Kelvin Darum. Si l'on Honorable Darum, Le gouvernement Dominique n'a autant confiance que ICT a offert plusieurs opportunités pour les gens pour stratégie cela. Honorable Daru di gouvernement ni website ki public la sa tape information bagay ki gouvernement la ka fè an peyi la. Minister Daru ka gade douvan pou festival ICT ki ka y pon plas mwa pouchen an Dominik. E osi fè pa wol ki jenes ki tape opportunite pou avanse ko ayo an zafè ICT. Honorable Daru ka kwe asi kompany telecom sa peyi la pou patisipe an festival ICT sa la. Et puis finalement, mes et mesdames, l'European Union a expecté pour financer plusieurs projets pour le développement infrastructure PLA. Ça, c'est des choses qu'on et chimer. La parole est là, sur le ministre de Public Works, Honorable Ribbon Blackmore. Nous, nous avons un projet avec l'European um, Union pour adresser chimer à un bon job avec des choses comme Mont Odelis. Point à la Ronde, point à White River, et bien, comme ça. Nous avons un gros programme en place pour ça. Et bien, surtout, nous allons aller, manœuvre là, nous croyons qu'il aller dans les sacs qui sont venus, bien bon, dans les 2014. Nous avons commencé pour adresser ce ça pour bâtir des choses comme Pont Neuf, bâtir Masson, en place comme Odélis, Box Colvert. Et bien, est-ce qu'il y a des chemins pour faire le plus gros En tant que manœuvre, quand nous faisons un chemin, il y a des portes là. Il y a des portes là, mais il y a des portes pour casser. Et pour casser pour Kenfield. Ça, c'est le plan de nous aussi pour le bon job avec le bon chien en White River Delice. Mais c'est mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nous faire un créole pour la prison. Non, moi, c'est Macfusson Saint-Louis. Ni un bon week-end. Au revoir. Let's now join John Hector for a recap of the week's headline stories. Welcome to this week's edition of Flashback. In the headlines this week, government announced that its information communication technology strategy is nearing completion. World Environment Day was observed worldwide on Wednesday. People were called upon to think before they eat in an effort to prevent wastage and help save the environment. Dominica's Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt revealed this week China's President His Excellency Xi Jinping's decision to increase by 10 the number of scholarships provided to Dominican students to pursue studies in China. Also this week, the ICT unit introduced its second ICT fest planned for July 2nd to 4th. Government disclosed plans to source over 50 million US dollars in loans and grants from partners such as the European Union and the World Bank to respond to damage caused by natural disasters on the east coast of the island. And the Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt joined other heads of government of the OECS and their national delegations for the 57th meeting of the OECS Authority in Antigua this week. The meeting, which ended on Tuesday, sought primarily to discuss the advancement of the economic union. The OECS heads planned ways of engaging the private sector in partnership for growth and development. Those are the headline stories which made the news this week. Back to you, Mervyn. Coming up next, your tip of the day. Scary!
Everything just shaking and shaking and making big, creaky noises. Earthquakes, big and small, take place in the Caribbean at least 10 times a year. The dishes rattling and falling and breaking, then Vonna started to scream. All I could think to do was shout, get outside, get out! Earthquakes, hazards, take control, reduce your loss. If an earthquake hits, what can you do? Get down, get under an item of furniture like a table, hold on and stay there until the quake passes. Find out lots more about earthquakes and other hazards at your local disaster office. A message from your national disaster office and Sidera. Today we will tell you what you should do when a hurricane watch is issued. Secure all windows, doors and other openings against wind and water. Tie down or bring indoors any objects which may be blown about by hurricane winds. Install hurricane sh shutters. Cover windows with boards or closed drapes. If a room must be occupied during a hurricane and window protection is not available, windows may be crisscrossed with tape to slightly reduce flying glass. Verify that vital records are in a safe storage area. Files, records and storage cabinets may be wrapped in plastic for moisture protection. If necessary, temporarily relocate records to a safe storage facility off-site. Ensure that all vehicles are serviced and fueled. Determine whether they can be stored to safely weather the storm, inventory hurricane emergency supplies and restock if necessary. And that's all for National Focus today. We welcome your suggestions and comments. Feel free to drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or you could visit our website at news.gov.dm. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Mervyn Matthew. Thank you for watching. <music>